First game in front of this, this West Georgia crowd, regular season game, just kind of how did it feel, feel being out there? Um, it, it felt good, you know, we had a good amount of crowd, you know, it gave us a, a, a little bit of energy as a team, you know, to come out and play hard, but it felt good coming out and play in front of the crowd. You guys, you started the scoring, you guys never dropped the lead, went up by 20 late in the first half, and just kind of kept pushing. What did it feel like being able to, to get that kind of lead and just be able to, to maintain it? Oh, it, it felt good to get that lead, but, you know, it, it starts on the defensive end. So, you know, we got to stay playing hard on defense, play as a team on defense, and that's where it starts on defense. And then our offense going to come. Coach kind of talked about that the other day. How how much has he, he been stressing the defensive side of the ball? Uh, we've been, after our, like, second exhibition game, that's all he's been talking about is defense, defense. We ain't having no offense in practice in, like, two weeks. So that's all we've been doing is defense, working hard. And with the defense, you were able to put up almost 100. Yeah. That's 98. Just offensively, you got in the mix four guys in double figures scoring. Just what what was working on offense? Uh, nothing. Just our regular offense, pass and cut offense. You know, just I just got to be the point guard on the team, you know, and make plays and get get people open. And then just you guys are 3-0 and now, going for 4-0 and on Saturday. Just how does this start to the season? Uh, it's, it's a great start. You know, we beat – more housing would be Clark, so that gave us kind of confidence, you know. And now we go in practice, you know, we can't lag in practice. We got to keep keep the pressure on defense, keep working hard on the defense, and, and then the offense going to come, like I said. Coach seemed to have a pretty good rotation of guys out there, but it seemed like you and Gavin were the were the two that spent the most time on the court. Just what do you, what do you try to do with the time that you're out there? I just try to make plays. Every possession, whether it's offense, defense, I just try to make plays. Leading score last year, just you know, coming into the season, senior year, just what what are your expectations? To win the championship. I mean, that's most important. If I got to sacrifice points, then so be it. And when you are able to get that many guys a little bit deeper bench than you had last year, just that extra rest, does that, that help helps out? a lot, especially in practice. It helps a lot. And I feel like from freshman to senior, everybody wants to win a championship. So. They're not coming in playing as freshmen. They're playing as if they were seniors, so that's good. And then just three and zero start to the season. How does getting that momentum early feel? Feels great. It can be scary at times because you don't want to peak too early. So it's just trying to stay humble and be consistent. Coach, just big game for you. Three and zero home opener. Sure. Being able to get out to that big lead. Just kind of what did that do for the for the rest of the game? Well. You know, we wanted to make sure we set the tone at the, at the beginning of the game. And I, I was really pleased with how hard we played, how, how hard we competed. We got out to a good lead, kind of took out, you know, took away their heart, let them know that they weren't going to come in here and get a big upset tonight. And then from there, you know, we just kind of, you know, it was, it's a long game. Um, we have a lot of guys to play. We you got to see we can rotate. And like I told you earlier this week, we can score 90 on you, but if, if it's a 50 to 60 point game, we can make sure that, you know, we can go out there and slug it out with you too. So, and we're just, you know, still filling out who's who, uh, you know, the, there's still possibly another player to add, it's still very, very early, but uh, like I said, I liked, you know, when you're playing these teams, these small teams, they're all going to shoot threes. As the game went on, we gave some uncontested threes that we didn't like, but for the most part, we stuck a hand in their face, we made it difficult, we rebounded the miss, and we're gone. And, you know, we really are going to be fun to watch with these two point guards we got. I mean, those guys can really go at you, and they really are a one-two punch. Uh, we don't fall off a, a minute when uh, Thomas Higginbotham comes in for Quincy Hill. Quincy gets it started, then Thomas comes and back with Quincy, and that's just really, really hard for teams. I mean. You know, Jordan, I, we've, we've been real good here around here for a long time, but to have the luxury of having two guys that can push, both create offense by just pushing the ball down the floor. I mean, I think Quincy has seven assists. I don't know what Thomas had. Uh, but yeah, seven, too. Yeah, there's 14 assists there out of your point guard position. And some of the passes that were made tonight to our open shooters, I mean, Gavin Field, is just he's just got to find an open spot on the floor, and they're finding him. Well, what that does is to get your team running. They're excited to run down the floor. There's nothing worse than to practice running every day with your team 
and you sprint down the floor and the point guard's got his eyes down and he doesn't see you. That's a recipe to slow your team down because pretty soon those guys say, why am I running? I'm not getting the ball. In this case, they know to run faster because Quincy and Thomas are coming. So it all starts there and the defense starts there too. They both did a really nice job there.